Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker, Dean Hop Realtor. Today I'm at the beautiful luxury community of Cibolo Canyons near the JW Marriott, and I'm in the Palacio section, which is the highest end section for Imagine Home Build. And behind me is a house that's being built for my client, and it's getting close to being done, so I want to do a video tour of it. It is the Plan 2 being built by Imagine Homes, just over 4,200 square feet, and it is gorgeous. Let's go check it out. This is a beautiful section of Cibolo Canyons and my clients are getting a beautiful home built on it. There's really not much left here. I think after talking to the sales rep, there's maybe five or six opportunities left, but I really love this community. Uh, it's really central located to everything in San Antonio, but you're definitely in the Texas Hill Country. JW Marriott's right down the road or kind of part of this community. The uh, Valera Open golf course is right there. Enough about the community. Let's go check out this beautiful home built by Imagine Homes. Now my clients have definitely made a few changes to this plan. Remember this is the plan two and uh, they're getting close, but I love the door selection they picked out. And yeah, they really don't mean to get you dizzy there, but just wanted to show off some of the features that they did. Right when you walk in, you've got your uh, dining room set up there and just want to point out how tall these ceilings are. Just super tall ceilings and the finishes are just top notch. And I love their four selections that they picked out. This is going to be kind of a little bar area section. Oops, looks like I missed a few lights. There's a lot of lights in this house, so it took me a while to find them all. But wow, look at this, the great room area. They've got a beautifully done fireplace. And like I mentioned before, this house is not completed yet, but it's getting close. Definitely want to shoot a video for my clients because the house will never look like this again. And it's always fun to be able to show off to your friends and family. But this kitchen is going to turn out nice. Love the two-tone with the island being a different color than the other cabinets. There's the other side of that bar section. Lots, lots of storage. Like I said, we're kind of circling back, but there's a reason. Got hallways going back down here. Well, let me show the kitchen off a little bit more before we go down that hallway. So this is a gas community. This is going to be the view from their sink. I love how balanced everything is. Just beautiful. And a plenty good size breakfast nook. Sorry about the sound walking on this. It's a little awkward. They're going to have the built-in microwave. They're going to have a really gorgeous cooktop and little spice racks tucked away there. Very neat. See they got some more little touch-up work to do but the builder is going to take care of that. Check out this pantry. That is a good size pantry. All right, let me go ahead and hit this part of the house first and I'll end with the one I'm close to. But let's go check out this outside patio area. The husband is going to be, well, wives like to sit outside sometimes too, but you're gonna have a wonderful entertainment space. Love what they did with the ceilings, lots of can lighting, gorgeous fan. You do have a spot already pre-done on the wall for your outdoor TV. Uh, plenty of plugs everywhere, gorgeous fireplace. Glad to see that they took the rock all the way up to the top. Really finishes off. But look at the size of this yard. If these guys wanted to put a pool in, which you look around, you can see a lot of the neighbors already have pools, but this is a clean slate. You can really do anything you want to with this backyard. Got a 
oak tree back there and a couple of uh, little cedars, but uh, some other smaller oak trees on the side. And then the water is going to be draining out the side down that direction. And you have plenty of space to do, you want to do your outdoor kitchen. You can see it's already plumbed for gas over here and another outlet. So you can really do some re fun stuff with this space and still have plenty of space to entertain your friends and family. And these slider doors, they are not a cheap upgrade, but man, when the weather is like it is right now, we are at 76 degrees in Texas here in May. You can open this whole door open and uh, really enhance your living space. All right, those are those beams. We got pre-wired for speakers all over the place in this house. A little better look at the fireplace. <clears throat> but I want to show off this edge of uh, this side of the house. Because I really like this bedroom. We do have eight foot doors, which you really want when you have tall ceilings. This room's pretty much a second master bedroom. I like to finish with a master bedroom on my tours, but this is not the master but it could be. So if you've got long-term guests staying here, family members kind of staying with you for a while, wow, check out the storage in this closet. I mean, this is bigger than some of the master bedroom closets I see. And of course, they're gonna have their own little ensuite with a beautiful mud inset shower, some gorgeous cabinets, and uh, just one sink, because yeah, this is just a guest bathroom. Oh, nothing back there. Had to check. Well, Imagine Homes does build a very, very energy efficient home. So if that's your number one concern with moving to Texas, definitely recommend Imagine Homes. But this room, I'm a big uh, movie theater, home movie theater buff, and man, they did this upright. We've got the sconces on the side, plenty of pan uh, can lighting. Hopefully they're dimmable. But we've got speakers all over the place, or wired, pre-wired for speakers all over the place. Builders don't like to add the speakers, they just like to get it pre-wired for it. But man, you got stuff for Atmos. I, I, I don't know what you call how many speakers they've got pre-wired in this house but they are set up. This would be the back because I thought ahead and got the power outlet for the couch back here. And this is where the movie screen or the big TV will go. And this is gonna be a really cool space for the family to gather and watch the movies and have a good time. But we do have more bedrooms to show you. This is gonna be uh, the shared bathroom. Like I said, just the finishes on all these cabinets. Absolutely beautiful. Love how they change between the dark grays and the light grays. Another really big bedroom right down the hall. With kind of real, still plenty of closet space in there. I saw in the garage, and I'll show you the garage a little bit later. They've got the uh, baseboards getting ready to go in. And yet another big, gorgeous bedroom. I love these tall windows too. Lots of light in this house. This bedroom is also gonna have its own bath. With once again, mud inset shower. And this is gonna be another big closet. To kind of show you just how tall these ceilings are, that is an eight foot door. Look how much space is still in there. These are just super tall ceilings in this house. Oops. 
And now we're back into the main space. We've already shown you enough of the kitchen and the dining room. So let's go on past. And I wanted to save uh, this wing of the house for last. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, I mentioned the garage. This is the garage where you're gonna have your mud room for people to hang backpacks. This is a three car garage. Still really tall ceilings. There's their giant baseboards getting ready to go up here pretty soon. It is plumb for a water softener and it's gonna be beautiful. And then we've got the laundry room and I just wanna point out the beautiful tile they've got in the laundry room. I like when people go a little exotic for the laundry room uh, tile because it's such a small space it doesn't dominate the house but it gives you the freedom to go a little have a little fun with it this is going to be your open to the public powder room just far enough away from uh, the main space where uh, your guests don't need to hear sounds that they don't need to hear all right, this is the office. This is a beautiful office. It's gonna have a nice view of the outside. And it's gonna be a really nice setup. I'm super excited for my clients. And just a small closet because yeah, it's an office. If need be, it could be used as a bedroom. They've got the French doors right there. It can be shut up. But uh, yeah, beautiful. All right, we're gonna end up back in this laundry room in just a second because it's actually attached to the master bedroom. And I really like that idea. So let's go show you the master bedroom. All right, another, this is another good size Bedroom about kind of the same size as the other bedroom, which I was like, that's the master bedroom too. But what sets this aside is the bathroom. You got the French doors opening up to it. Love this little space right here. Perfect if you want to set up your coffee pot to where you don't even have to leave your bedroom to have a little cup of coffee. We're gonna have a beautiful vanity set up right here. And another vanity set up on that side. And a spot for, put a little bench there for makeup application. This is the laundry room again. And I just wanted to come at it from this angle because it's so nice being able to go from your master bathroom to doing your laundry, just so short. But I always wanna make sure you can put a lock on that door, especially if we got kids, you don't need them. or a lock on this door so yep they got one good deal but look at this well let me show you this closet first since i'm here this is a really good size closet plenty of space they're not gonna have a difficult time finding place to hang stuff love this freestanding tubs these freestanding tubs are not a cheap addition uh, just different plumbing setup, beautiful tile work, and check out this shower. We've got one shower head, two shower heads, and still the rain shower above. So love the uh, tile selection they did. This could be a big, beautiful window looking out there and uh, lots of lights in this shower. Now I showed you that closet and you might be thinking, man, that's a big house and not a super big closet. But wait, there's more. There's your water closet. Nothing too exciting there. Because here's more closet space. Wow, this is a really super nice. A long dress rack right there. More dress racks. Because they go all the way down. And just plenty of... Uh, closet space in this house. This is really nice touch. You can see it's a little wavy on the side. That's beautiful. 
Like I said, plenty of linen closet space. Let me give you one last look of the main space here, including the kitchen. Now this is Imagine Homes highest level homes that they build and they, they can do some custom stuff. Uh, problem is finding communities that do things. Uh, Highland Estates, another community that Imagine Homes building their high end stuff, but I don't know how many lots they have left. And in the community here I'm, that I'm in, the Palacios community, they don't have much left. I'll leave what is available still on the final slide. All right, that's gonna wrap up the plan two built by Imagine Homes for my clients. I am super excited for them. They did such a great job getting this house at the right time because our market has gone pretty bonkers since they got this house under contract. So they are winning at life. Um, so I'm happy for them. And if you are considering moving to this great part of Texas and looking for a realtor that does these videos, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I will leave a link to my calendar app on the description box and hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. And as always, keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. Take care now, bye.